hot, but <laughs> you know what I find super funny, friends? I, I'm just going to be honest. Yeah, see, that's, that's actually quite nice. It's actually very nice. Now, I, I may as well just show it. Uh, friends, I've had pe people always send me stuff. I'll just say it. They, people send me things that, that know me and have been around me for years. They'll send me something on Instagram and they'll say, hey, Buckin, what do you think of this? I saw a guy uh, filing his power saw backwards. And I'm like, uh, that's been done for 50 years, somewhere there, probably 50, 60 years. It's an old thing that lots of people still do. Old fallers. And the reason they did it is because they wanted to. They just go like this. It's a little harder on the file, but there's nothing wrong with it. People say, okay, well, uh, what, what about, you know, what about going into the chrome as opposed to going, you, you hear the squeak, right? So there, there we go. I just filed it one way and the other way, uh, there we go. So I could do this today, filing it one way and filing this this way. It does, it, it does not matter, and if it did, then what do you think would happen in a big piece of wood? T tell me what you think would happen. It would cut on an angle. It would have to. I've done these videos. Go to my sharpening chainsaw sharpening myths, friends. Go to those videos if you're new here, if you haven't seen them. Friends, I just got to be honest. There's some pretty good content back there that might explain some stuff. Have your tip up against something. Put your power head there. If you want to file backwards and give it a try, you can do it. Just go like this. Have a sharp file and just go like this. You hear the sound though? Okay, so that's filing into the file. It's been done for years. It's not the new, you're not the, the new inventor on the block. So don't think you're coming up with something special. It's been done for years. Or stick your thumb on there and one hand it. This is what a lot of guys will do. But you hear the sound? You hear the sound? That's why I don't like it. I just don't like it. I just file old school, okay? Uh, it wears the file out a little quicker. Hear the difference? So you're, you're not, you're not a, a, an inventor. So it's been done for years. And does it cut? Of course it cuts because you're filing it and making it sharp. It's that simple. It, this is not brain science, friends. Don't turn it into a science project. So friends, if you want to know what Buck and Billy Ray's filing his hand file with, I'm done with all the baby C. These are experimental chains. I've wasted enough chain on experiments in the last five years. Uh, it's probably a roll by now, but I needed to do it. I needed to do it. You guys know me and you remember what I used to say back in the day. I can't speak out of my can. I need to speak from my own experience. Oh, I heard some guy said that that does this. Oh, does it? Where'd you hear that? So it's not your experience. It's someone else's you heard it from. I'm not, I'm not, I don't live that way. I will not live that way. I will not speak to things I don't know about. Hence all the freaking R&D with pipes and, and the chain thing, 730 seconds on a round file, get the freaking gullet. These experimental chains, Today was a, a final kind of a punch at this smaller file thing for, for a, for a, a three eighths chain. And it proved to me, and it cut like, it, it cut good. It cut good, but not as good as a full scoop. Not as good as a full scoop. And what I mean by is that get that gullet. It's just, it's just the best way to fly. So get the freaking gullet out of there or square ground. You will not compete with square ground. Fastest cut and chain out there. Let's get back to it or shall we? All right, so we got some mufflers over there with a couple little things that we're going to try just for testing purposes. Um, but the chain is um, filed on a, on a 3 16 file. See the gullet in it? See how there's, there's no, the gullet's not taken out? But remember the baby C we did, friends? Th these are just experiments, friends. That's all they are. See the rakers in, in regards? Okay. So, it's a good looking edge. It's, it's, it's kind of like a baby C program. See that, with the gullet left in it? It's a, it's a 3 16 file. Oh my. I'm kind of excited, friends. 
Um, Mark and I have got a couple things we're testing. This is just all R&D for, for how these saws work. That's all this is, just R&D. I thought I may as well take you along the way. We've tried smaller openings. We've tried bigger openings. We've tried, right? I've, I've, I've even got a little idea here I'm working with, but you see the difference? Like big, small, uh, even big, big, big with a, with a baffle. But, and I've even got the bark box here and I, I blocked that off a long time ago. I, that, that's just a, a couple of tabs in a screen. So I just opened this up. I pulled the tabs out of it and put a screen. In. So, oh, look at, see, I just, I just took the screen out and put a little plate in there. Done. Boom. No welding, nothing, no flattening of that. Just done over with. Anyway, uh, I don't even know if it's a good idea to take, take that thing out, to be honest with you. I, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Who knows if it is or not? No one does. They just think, gut the muffler and do it. Well, you don't know that. So I'm just always on the quest. So I'm going to run. We go, we couldn't have a better setup, friends, today than that log right off the dirt. Yeah. And I mean, get a better freaking practice spot with the rocks. We're up in the air. See, we're not for long, though, until there's another spot there. But the bark is off, friends. So we're ready to fly. I'm just gonna do a, a couple, move a couple little things here, and we're gonna go at this again. We're gonna try this muffler. This is a nice pipe, but I've talked about a tuned exhaust for for years. Actually, I've talked about a tuned tuned exhaust. I had it on my, I had it on my chopper. Believe it or not, friends, I did. I had it on my chopper and, uh, and it worked. It was, it was so fun. It was just a, a washer that went in my straight pipe and I turned it a little bit and it, it actually changed the sound and gave a bit more back pressure. It was, it was interesting. It did work. So let me get this thing fired up and let's start the, uh, the muffler going here. Let it, let it, let it absorb the universe. Friends, this is not a race. This is not race day or comparison day. It's field day and load the saw up day, cut small wood a little bit here and there, test the mufflers, how they respond on the saw. That's it. There's no times or nothing like that. Although I did time all the cuts. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
that's enough for me, friends, to feel the saw. A couple of leaned on it a little bit. I'm gonna swap a muffler out here now. I'm gonna put on one of these tunable exhausts. That is, that is a very nice exhaust, but I wanna try something different now. Can you guys see what's going on here? It only takes a freaking minute to do this, right? Like, just like literally a minute. And it's hot, but this is the beautiful thing about, right? Here we go. There's one. Let's just let this fall off. Look at how quick this happens. This is why I'm, I'm eager to try this tuned exhaust. I'm going straight for it. I don't know how much timing is going to be on our, you know what I mean, friends? I, I don't know really, like, how much timing is going to make. But I'm actually going to try this pipe right here. I saw Mark run it, and I, I like this pipe here. I like it a lot, actually. Again, these are tests, okay? This is a tunable exhaust now, friends. Okay? It is. It's tunable. When he ran, I'll know right away, friends. Trust me, I will know. I'll know as soon as I stick it in the wood. I don't need a lot of, you know what I mean? I, I just don't. Okay. This here is very interesting. So friends, this is where one might think, okay, well, it, it seemed pretty good to me. Well, you'd be right, but it's not. This is where the operator has to play with the saw. Lean a little, let it go a little. Lean a little, let it go. He has to be very in tune with the machine to feel the fine things. To be honest, 90% of power saw operators probably wouldn't notice. And that's the truth of it. This is a bigger pipe. This is the next one we're putting on. 
Now, we try a bigger one. Got my wrench. She's wide open. Chain's still looking good. I thought I hit the dust there, but I didn't. That was good. I caught it just in time. Um, I think Okay, here comes the bark box, friends. We're gonna find out for pull. The bark box works, friends, and whether this saw likes pipes or not, right? Because not all saws do. If I'm not mistaken, um, they're both, both of these are busted off. It's cheap. That's another thing about still. Their metal on their mufflers is cheap. And the back nut broke off already twice on them. And I don't have another one, so this is it. Bark box. Okay, so as, hello friends, back on you for a second. I just wanna say one thing. Friends, when you see, you probably watch a lot of, actually I'm sitting on my, my exercise ball. This is the least part of my favorite part of the YouTube channel is editing because you're sitting a lot. I think a lot of human beings sit more than we used to, friends. We could probably all agree on that with societally, you know, there's more of this and more of that and it's just, it's life. So I try to do something good at the same time. So I'm, I'm rocking the ball right now, which helps my, my physicality. Anyway, friends, do, if you're watching a lot of power saw content out there, 
I, I, I see these fellers, they, they, they come into the log and they ram their dogs in and they go, you know, you know, and then they look at the camera and they go, oh, this isn't, you know, and then they go do something and they say, well, this is here it is after what I did to it or whatever it is. I don't care what it is. Could be me. Could be doing a muffler. Friends, a saw is not to be run like that. Yes, you need to test it. You, you need to you need to just squeeze in and and find out where that spot is where it'll continue to pull the chain. But this ramming the dogs in and reefing up on the saws and going, mm, oh, this saw's no good. See what happened? Please, friends, take it from me. Take that stuff with a grain of salt, please, because <laughs> it's another person doing it. It's me doing it, not you. I could easily be, be reefing hard on this. So what's happened here, you'll notice the bark box stops a couple times. It's not because I'm pulling harder on it. It's because I just came off three header pipes, which cut faster than the bark box. It, they, they just do, friends. It's, I'm not, it's not a kick at the bark box. It's a freaking header pipe. It's a header pipe. Wait till I put this other one on. So I'm used to, I just came off three pipes that I'm able to kind of, you know, get on a little bit, right? Then I went to the bark box and I wasn't able to apply the same pressure. Bark box cuts wonderfully, pulls nice. You gotta have a nice sharp chain. And uh, I like the bark box. It's a neat design how it, how he's got it. it. It really doesn't change much from stock until it hits that front plate and has to find its way out that hole and up the chute. It's actually a neat design. I like it and it does work. It's much better than stock. So, so kudos to them fellas, um, but it's not a header pipe. I mean, let's be honest, friends. Why do hot rodders put header pipes on their big blocks and small blocks and race cars? Because it's faster and it creates more pull, more power. So that's what these are. They're header pipes, friends. Um, so the bark box stood right in there, friends. It did. It stood right in there, very similar to these pipes. So all these pipes actually are very similar, but they do have different characteristics. Let's get on to the last couple of these. I just wanted to interject on that because you see a lot of that on YouTube, friends, including here. But you'll notice I don't I don't dye my saws out a lot. I don't I don't do that. It, it's really not how you learn about a saw. Now, now that we've done that, I need to do one more thing. We wanted to try a coating, a powder coating. We don't think it worked. Okay, this will be actually quite interesting.
So, I just wanted to compare two pipes from the same man, which are completely different. That one you saw me just put on, right, in succession of the video was the green, the big, like, the big green thing. Um, the fact that I can go like that is a good sign. Um, and the other one you've seen, which I thought might be, I thought it might have been, they all have different characteristics. That's what they have, different characteristics. In the end, from the top to the bottom, and you can notice, friends, as I'm cutting, you see my body and my arms and everything. It's I'm a very similar cutter. I don't eh, eh, seesaw a lot. I, I do seesaw, but my seesaw has kind of a, a pattern to it. Uh, I, I have a way I cut. And it is very similar to each each buck, unless I'm doing something, no dogs, and just letting like a stand up and buck, or you know what I'm saying. So that is interesting to me, and I wanted to show that side by side. So now I don't really need to show you the single. I'll show you a bit, and we'll cut this video out. I am having a fun, fun time. However, you have fun with your time that you have in the day. Bless you. Whatever you do, I like to get dirty. And this channel has always been about me outside, so that's why this past little while, friends, it's, it's I'll be honest, I'm not gonna freaking pretend, it's, it's been tough on me. I, I'm better in the dirt. I'm better in the dirt and, and doing stuff. So I still have not swung an ax, friends, and I don't believe I will for a bit. I honestly don't. I can't, I, unless something crazy happens quickly, uh, but I'm not gonna, I'm not going backwards. I'm healing. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. I wanted to share that and pop in so you knew what was going on there. Let's head her back in, shall we? I think we shall. <laughs> That's actually very interesting to me. It almost seems like that thing's pulling the best. This great big open, this guy. <clears throat> guess I, I guess I should have brought a BBR muffler, friends. Eh? I mean, I do have one more. Oh yeah, so I'm going back today. It's the next day, right? It's like whatever it is now. Thursday, Friday, maybe? No, it's Thursday. I'm going back with the BBR muffler to crack a couple. Oh yeah. On this guy, and it is a completely different animal. Like a completely different animal. I mean, I guess. Okay, so at this point, I'm thinking I, I should be getting going because I've already run this, but I'm right in it. Do you know what I mean? I'm in it. I'm in the same wood. I'm in the same file, fi same chain, same saw. I would all, I, don't, I, I can't leave. I can't do this. I can't operate like this. So I put this muffler on because it is a completely different animal than these. It's smaller. It's longer. It's like a different animal. Oh, 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 that's where the calluses come in handy, friends. Okay. Huh. 
Let's try this. My favorite muffler. So that is very interesting to me. All of that. Yeah. Well, if you want to know the honest truth, I thought, I thought that the open pipes would be these are pipes, they're headers, header pipes. Well, think about it if they were one inch. It would take 15 to make one chunk of firewood. Let's go say hi to our tent. Well, it felt good to run saw, that's for darn sure. Now remember friends, that's a hand file with a, with a, a 3 16 file, so. Really a bit of a nice fallen chain, not a grabby fast chain. Look at this mess. So you tell me what you, what you tell me, you leave in the comments which muffler you thought, just by what we did, by the sound of the saw. I didn't push on it, I tested it a couple times hard and, uh, and that was it. So you tell me, leave it in the comments which muffler you like the sound of the best and that you think was, they're all fairly close, I'll be honest, friends. I was surprised at the muffler that's on it. What I did notice, and this I will tell you, this great big thing, this thing, had a lot of pull, but it didn't have the snap. And that makes sense, look at it. It does make sense. There's a fine dance with your exhaust, friends, it's fine. That's why those bear claw mufflers work really good, is because they do both. They create a bit of pull, and they get you that high-end crack. So we're gonna we're gonna focus more towards the bear claw design, friends, not the pipes. I I would think anyway. Just a just a thought. Wasn't that a whole pile of fun, man? Oh man, times didn't really differ that much, but the characteristics did of the saw in the wood, friends. That's where the change was. Was in the characteristics of RPM snap. I call it crack and pull. That's things we look for as power saw operators we want crack which is revs instantly and we want pulling the bigger wood we want an all-around saw we want an all-around saw so anyways no more goofing off fucking serious business here thanks for watching this is all personal preference and r d for that when it's time for us to maybe throw something up on the website that we know we've tested the schnotchkies out of and, and you folks can go, yeah, I think I want that loud, crazy, weird thing on my saw that we know that you can take your stock muffler off, throw it in the garbage or put it on the side and put one something different on, like the bark box. That thing hung with, with everything. They've done a good job on that muffler. Great job on that muffler. Um, so you don't want to go backwards. 
Noise is not everything, friends. Noise is not everything. So you'll notice I only showed one freaking comparison in there, and that was between the two separate pipes, which were like really super different. Isn't that amazing? I think that's kudos to that saw though, friends. I do. I think that's kudos to that, that fuel injected saw. It's quite an animal. Anyway, I love you, friends. Work hard, be honest, and be kind. I'll catch you on the next one. It's good to be back.